and many of whose benefits uh, to the Prophet ﷺ and to the Ummah not to extend our eyes to the beauty of this life. ولا تمدن عينيك إلى ما متعنا به أزواجا منهم زهرة حياة الدنيا لنفتنهم فيه. Do not make your eyes go beyond to see those who are in some form of luxury and 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 and, and wealth and so on in this life. زهرة الحياة الدنيا it's like the flower of this life, the beauty is the adornment لنفتنهم فيه. So that we test them through this. Whenever we are given any means of goodness in this life, uh, wealth, health, whatever, this is a test. This is not a ni'mah, again, as we said before, this is not a ni'mah in itself. It's only a ni'mah when, when it's used in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it's not used in the obedience of Allah and to follow the truth, it's a source of misery in this life and in the hereafter. So once the Muslim, he sees things in the right way, he would know how to deal with his wealth and his health. If he has it, he's grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he would use it the right way and he know that this is a test from Allah, how he's going to use it for the sake of Allah. If he doesn't have it, He's patient, he's pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knows that Allah relieved them from some responsibilities on him, and he still would know how to act according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from him. And the goal is to be followers, to follow the wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.